organization, Amy? What do you love about it? Hmm. Um, I love that I can, and it's a little bit hard to pull it apart from some of my other strengths, I think. That's okay. Uh, you can blend them um, in in this case. That's fine. I love that I uh, appreciate um, different things about people, different qualities about people. Um, it's, it's, uh, interesting. It, it, it helps me connect with other people. Helps other people feel heard, maybe. How do you think it feels? helps other people feel heard? Um... Well, I mean, maybe because I uh, see I see them and I uh, appreciate who they are and what they bring. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to add to that. That's okay. Okay. How have you seen individualization showing up for you throughout your life, even before you knew it was a talent? Right. Um, <clears throat> I mean, as a younger person, I, um, you know, I really enjoyed uh, meeting different people. And, um, you know, in high school, like I really loved being, you know, not only a cheerleader, but also in art club. And, you know, some of the other or just really being around a wide variety of people. I love that I have a, had a wide variety of friends um, and wasn't in just one group. Um, I, you know, it was, you know, again, it's hard to untangle it from some of my other strengths, but, um, you know, just real curious about other people and um, what they're about, what makes them tick in, um, in kind of in awe of that, you know? inspired by it. Okay. So I know you mentioned you feel that they're heard. How else do you think others benefit or appreciate your individualization? Um, I think there's a, a deeper connection. I mean, you know, my, my top strength is woo. And I'm told a lot of the time that I don't seem like a normal woo person. And I think it's that individualization that maybe helps me go deeper with people or, or not. Um, you know, I mean, I think, honestly, I think woo gets a little bit of a bad rap. But, um, but I mean, I do think that it's, you know, there's... Uh, that it is, it does allow me to go deeper with people and um, and not you know, seem superficial or what you know some of those things that are tend to be assigned to to woo. So, um, it helps me connect. Like I said before, it helps me connect with people. Um, did that answer your question? Uh huh. Your individualization, Amy. Amy loves that she can easily spot the unique qualities in others. By recognizing this uniqueness, she sees people for who they are and what they bring to the table. For this reason, she knows it helps others feel heard and that when they speak from their truth, she can appreciate it fully. As a young person, Amy really enjoyed meeting all kinds of different people. In high school, she wasn't only a cheerleader, but she was also in the art club. You couldn't find her mixing with just one click. She was mixing with all of them. Her curiosity for others is something she just can't help. She's both in awe and inspired by all she meets. Everyone has something special in her eyes. She loves to travel as well for this reason. Seeing new cultures and others in their own environments is especially enjoyable. It's a true learning experience that she finds incredibly fulfilling. She's able to make deeper connections with others. She also has woo, but her individualization takes her from being just a social butterfly to someone you wanna sit down with and have a deeper conversation over a cup of coffee. 
Her energy is welcoming and others are often at ease with her. Amy, thank you for holding space for others to feel, to feel heard and be seen. That made me tear up, thank you. You're welcome. And I think doing this in third person, you guys, is really helpful to have someone tell you who you are, even though I'm using your own words. Because I think that just makes it, I don't know, it feels like a compliment, but it's a compliment you've just given to yourself. 